And if you were outside trying to do any sidewalk chalk art, it was hot. Temperatures once again today got into the 90s, upper 80s and low 90s for the better part of the midday and afternoon hours as we saw a lot of sunshine and not a drop of rainfall. Looking live out toward downtown right now, a few passing clouds, but still plenty of sun. 89 degrees, our current temperature, and the dew points, had, it's kind of that oppressive humidity at 72 degrees. Right now, humidity is at 57%, yes, but that's because the temperature and dew point are pretty far apart. However, the dew point in the 70s is not a very comfortable air mass at all. Winds out of the south right now at around 10 miles an hour. Still in the 80s across most of the area, but still hanging on to the 90s at Bogalusa, Gonzales. Baton Rouge, 91 degrees at Lakefront. Our high today did get up to 91, not the record. Record is 92. So once again this week, we come within one degree of setting or tying the record, I should say, at Kenner. Again, most of the day today was very warm in the upper 80s and low 90s. Still in the upper 80s now, and it's going to take some time to cool down. Again, with the high humidity, uh, we don't really cool down very efficiently. Most dew points in the 60s, but in the city, around Bell Chase, down toward the coast, dew points have been in the 70s. So upper 60s, low 70s, it's again, not a very pleasant and very much a summertime feel as winds are out of the south. And I talked about this yesterday. We would see more of a southerly wind today, which is going to push that frontal boundary that triggered the the storms yesterday on the North Shore farther north. And in fact, we did not see any rain across the area with only a few passing clouds at times. We are going to see near record temperatures for the next couple of days, but rain chances are going to be coming back. And then we will start to pick up more of a daily rain chance uh, starting tomorrow, but more so into the weekend, but a bit more rain coverage as we head into next week. High temperature forecast next couple of days, we're going to be near record. But as our rain chances increase and clouds increase, we're going to see temperatures, at least for the first half of next week, drop back to near normal. One of the things that's happening is that big upper low we've been talking about is finally starting to weaken and lift up to the north. That's kind of preventing that push from the north, which allowed that stationary front to sit over us yesterday to begin moving back northward. With that, more sunshine, warmer air and temperatures across much of the area. Gulf Coast region and southeast have been soaring into the upper 80s and low 90s. A disturbance over Texas triggered some storms there. Weakening rainfall as it moved in our direction and just some passing clouds. And we'll see kind of a mix of clear to partly cloudy skies overnight tonight. Maybe a 10 to 20 percent chance for an isolated shower. Rain chances may increase a bit more, but only ranging from maybe 20 to 30 percent on Saturday and then a 30 to 40 percent chance on Sunday as we will see more Gulf moisture. Clear to partly cloudy tonight with lows in the 70s. Very mild, humid tomorrow. A lot of sunshine, high of around 92 degrees. The record tomorrow is 93. So near record temperatures for the weekend. Uh, probably not as much on Sunday as I think we'll see a little more cloud cover, maybe a few more showers. Better rain chances. Not a washout, though, as we head into next week. All right. That's